So, you have trouble approaching girls in groups, or just approaching groups in general, whether it's at a club, or a bar, or any social environment. And that's what we're going to talk about in this episode of Reddit Replies. Yo! Wagwan, it's your boy D-Roy in the motherfucking building. Today, on this episode of Reddit Replies, we're going to be talking about approaching people in groups. Whether you want to talk to the girls in the group, or you just want to meet more people in general, but everyone's locked in a group. So, let's get right into it. Approaching girls in groups, in clubs, or loud venues. At university, people go out with groups of friends and seem to stick closely with their friends, forming a circle. I am working on embracing a mindset of abundance and moving from one conversation to another without dwelling too much. Getting into a flow can be really fun. I agree. I agree. However, sometimes I find myself wandering around looking for someone to talk to that seems less preoccupied with their group. This is usually when I get caught in my head and start overthinking, etc. How could I begin introducing myself to groups of people who are there with each other? All right. So this is a common problem. And I had this same problem. Approaching people in groups is not always comfortable. It's not always the most socially normal normal thing to do in whatever environment you go to because everyone likes to be in their own little clique, their own little circle, right? And so with you going out, you notice that when you start talking to people and getting that momentum, you get into a state of flow. But when you get into your head and you try to just spot out like someone to talk to, that's when you start to overthink and that anxiety sets in. Here's the thing about going up and talking to people in groups. There's a few key things that you need to do. But before we even get into that, there's a mindset you have to adopt to really make this more effective. The mindset is more of, cool, I'm a generally social person. I like to meet people and people would like to meet me. Those mindsets of just being a generally social person and someone that likes to meet people and like to talk to people. And you're just someone that goes up regardless and you just come off as someone who's sociable is going to take you a long way. If you get that into your mindset, it's going to help you progress when it comes to meeting people in groups and meeting situations where it's a lot of unfamiliar people in that environment. But here's a couple of things you can do to help you a lot in these groups and loud venues. One, talk to everybody. Regardless, talk to everybody. You see this person over there, talk to them, talk to them, talk to them, talk to them, talk to them. A lot of times when you talk to new people, they're usually around their friends. And regardless, if they're with their friends or not, they're generally going to introduce you or make a pathway for you to meet the other people in their group. So when I go out to the clubs, and I, this has happened to me a lot of times. I'll talk to everybody. I'll start talking. I give compliments here. I say what's up there. I'll fist bump, dap somebody up. Strangers, complete strangers. I never met them a day in my life. But then all of a sudden, I'm talking to this person and this person, and they introduce me to the people they're with. And next thing you know, I'm dapping them up. I'm dapping them up. I'm saying, what's up? What's your name? What's this? What blah, 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 blah. And that's, you start sparking these conversations. But here's the thing. Let's say there's a girl in a group, right? A specific girl you want to talk to. And she's in a group, let's say across the room. There's a few things you can do, right? Besides just the general advice I just gave. One, walk over there. Start talking to the whole group. Give the group a compliment. Be like, yo, you guys look like a lot of fun. Acknowledge the whole group. Because generally, if there's a group and they notice that you're only coming for the one girl, they're going to swat your shit out of there and cock block you. They're going to be like, yo, who the fuck is this dude trying to take our girls? But if you're more sociable and you talk to the whole group, they're more willing to absorb you in their group. 
you meet the guys, you meet the girls, and you just get into the whole overall vibe. And here's the other thing. This is one of the biggest things I've learned when it comes to using groups and merging into groups. If you're out with your friends or you're with your group of friends, introduce the groups to each other. Merge the groups. Be the person that connects everyone in that group. So you go up, you you talk to the group. You introduce yourself. Yo, you guys are cool. You guys seem like a lot of fun. I'm Delroy. Who are you guys? And next thing you know, you're like, oh, yo, you guys should meet my group, my my group, my friends. They're cool as shit. They, they, they'll fuck with you guys. Yo, yo, Timmy, John, whatever the fuck, whoever. I don't know if you got a friend named Timmy, but call your boy Timmy over there. Yo, Timmy, come meet this fucking guy over here. Come meet this person over here. Next thing you know, you're merging your group. Yo, come meet them. They're cool as shit. Or you guys, come meet my friends. Merge the group so it becomes easier and simple for them to assimilate and become familiar with the people around them. Next thing you know, your friends are talking to the guys. They're talking to them. They're talking to them. And you're talking to each person in the group. Eventually, you're going to get around to that girl to where, oh, yeah, it's normal for you to talk to everyone in that environment, in that specific group, because you're making it socially acceptable for everyone to intermingle and communicate. So you're talking to the other guys, you're talking to the girls, you're, and then eventually you get to the specific girl you want to talk to. And next thing you know, you uh, from being social, from being so interactive and merging the groups, you're getting everyone's contact number, and you also get her number. And here's the fucking biggest piece. Here's the biggest piece you got to understand. The fact that you displayed a lot of qualities in terms of merging the groups, being sociable, talking to everyone, boosts everyone's status, boosts your status in everyone's eyes. And not only that, the fact that you've developed a level of comfort within meeting everyone in the group the girl is more likely to accept you and more likely to give you her number. And then it becomes easier for you to message her and talk to her because she's feeling more safe and more comfortable because you've already accumulated with the other members and they've already accepted you. So they've accepted you, more likely she's going to accept you as well. This all comes down to just how you place yourself in an environment and the mindset you have going into these specific groups. It can be very scary at first. I, I can admit that. It can be very nerve-wracking. It can be very uh, anxiety-driven. But once you get into the rhythm of talking to people, of moving around, of becoming social, that momentum, that momentum alone will make your night fucking beautiful. Your night is just going to go miraculously from there. And even if, let's say you try to do that with that group, try it with multiple other groups. Someone is going to accept you. People are there to meet people. People go into these social environments, not just to be with their friends, obviously, but to also see if they can meet other people. But the minds, the thing is, most people are also scared to meet people. They're also scared to talk to strangers. So if you're the one that breaks down that barrier and allows that level of comfort to where it's normal, they're more than willing to talk to you. They're more than willing to communicate with you. And on the off chance, someone is just an asshole. Fuck them. Leave. You don't have to talk to them. It's just a one single person that you don't have to talk to or a couple people you don't have to talk to. More people are in the environment that are willing to talk to you, willing to socialize with you, and willing to have a good time by merging groups and meeting a whole bunch of new people. So that's the whole framework you need to have in mind when it comes to socializing, approaching girls in groups, approaching people in large, loud environments, and making new connections. Be sure, and I always say this, but uh, some people do it, some people don't. It is what it is. Like, comment, subscribe.
subscriptions. I hold them near and dear to my heart. But more importantly than all of those, remember to stay official. Peace.